What's going on YouTube? Kevin here from TGI Tech Day bringing you guys an update on WWDC 2012 with the new Macs that Apple just recently released today. That is June 11th, 2012. So there's five main laptops we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the two MacBook Airs, the 11-inch and the 13-inch, along with the 13 and 15-inch MacBook Pros, and their absolutely spectacular new laptop, the MacBook Pro with the Retina display. So I'm not going to hang on too long for these first four because you guys are kind of, you can just see the specs if you want to. If you're interested in them, you can go ahead and take a look at them, but I'm not really going to go over them. I don't really know what's new within, within each of these markets or what's considered fabulous, but if you guys are in the market for each of these, um, that's up to your thing to look up and that's up to you. But if Apple Store isn't up right now or their website isn't up showing all these different things, you can just take a look at the specs right now. Feel free to pause the video wherever you may want to in case you want to take a look at the specs if you guys are looking for a new laptop. If you guys are college students and you guys are looking for a new laptop but you held off until now because you knew that they were going to update them, this is the time to take a look at it, pause the video, whatever you got. But from what I can tell, everything's just been bumped up, classic Apple style, prices have been relatively the same with the specs bumped up for each respective laptop. Now we're going to go on to the star of the show. We are going to go on to the MacBook Pro with the Retina display. This has been highly anticipated and there's been a lot of questions whether or not Apple would really put a Retina display into a laptop because, well, we can know that it's very high quality and that it might cost a lot. But you'll be surprised to know the price point isn't actually all that bad. So let's not lollygag anymore. We'll get on to the specs of the MacBook Pro with the Retina display. So the first thing, obviously, it's a 15.4 inch Retina display. That means it's four times the pixels as a normal 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro. The current resolution for a 15-inch MacBook Pro is a 1440 by 900 resolu resolution display, which if you double that is 2880 by 1800. So pretty spectacular, awesome graphics. The mountain line has also been upgraded for all these different high definition graphics, and um, a lot of apps are currently being developed for this awesome, beautiful Retina display. The blacks are blacker, a lot of the colors are a lot more vibrant, and there's a lot more accuracy within a lot of different things. Secondly, the power inside of this laptop is phenomenal. It's a 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7, which thanks to the new Ivy Bridge chipset is possible now with the relatively lower power consumption. Also, we have eight gigabytes of RAM, which is nothing really spectacular, but we do have a GeForce GT 650M video card with one great one gigabyte of dedicated VRAM, so your graphics processing is going to be pretty smooth and buttery. We have 256 gigabytes of flash storage built into it. I'm not sure if that's upgradable. I didn't really read up on it all that much, but from what I can tell from their keynote, 256 gigabytes of flash storage is standard, along with seven hours of battery life, and the thinness is also um, unprecedented, 0.71 inches, which is, as I believe Phil Schiller said, is thinner than his finger and it weighs a light 4.46 pounds. Now, what are you gonna pay for all this? You might think it might cost a fortune, but really, it's pretty reasonable at a whopping $2,200. So really not that bad for a laptop that has specced this well. It's great, everything's about, everything about it's awesome. There's much more power behind it, about the same battery life, and just a lot of different features. So. This has just been a quick update of the new laptops that Apple has just released today. Again, first day of WWDC 2012 during their keynote. This is the updates for the Mac laptops. No word on 17-inch MacBook Pro, nor have there been any updates to the iMac line as far as we know, nor the Mac Mini or the Mac Pro, sadly. So that's just a quick update. Thanks for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Tech Day.